Good morning, friends. It is a cloudy, rainy, stormy end of June here in Northeast Missouri. And I'm going to guess that some of you are feeling a little tired this morning, more so than normal, with the storms we had last night. Uh, coming just on the tails of the ones we had earlier in the week and a forecast that has more rain and storms in it today as well. Um, it's kind of ironic, isn't it, that Scott and Jennifer preached on that passage where the disciples are in the boat with Jesus in the middle of the storm. Um, this is one of those times that anybody who lived in north, the northern half of Missouri and southern half of Iowa Everybody went through storms last night. And so we all have that sense that everybody had a similar kind of experience. So we were watching the weather, we were seeing watches and warnings and making decisions on what kind of shelter we might need to seek. Those are the storms that are out in the middle for everyone to see. Then we have those hidden storms of life. Those are the ones that sometimes nobody else knows that we're going through. They are the things like the illnesses that we haven't shared yet. They could be things like abuse that is either currently happening or has happened in the past. Those griefs and losses that aren't visible to the rest of the world. They could be financial or addictions. All those hidden types of storms that impact our lives in ways just as emotionally wrought as the weather-related storms that come through. And we may wonder in the middle of those kind of how we deal with those. How do we hold on, especially if it's a time where it's one storm right after the other? Because I'm going to guess for some of you, last night was a little more charged because we'd just been through an intense storm earlier in the week. And so maybe when that weather forecast popped up and that red started to show on the radar, you tensed a little more than you did the last time. And already today, you might not want to be looking at the forecast because you don't want to move into that same place again. Well, it's certainly like that with our hidden storms as well. Those can take their toll. And all of those traumas and griefs and intense situations we go through kind of pile one on top of the other. And our bodies hold on to those stresses. After I leave you here today, I'm going to go do my weekly yoga class, and it will be interesting to see as I try to do balance poses what it reveals about how my body has been holding on to some of those stresses. It often, um, it tells on me if I'm holding a lot of stress, even if I don't want to admit it. My body hangs on to it. Well, those disciples in the boat with Jesus, they spoke their truth to Jesus, right? As we heard Scott and Jennifer share that story. And in the middle of this raging storm as they're bailing water and Jesus is asleep and they wake him up and you can almost hear it in their voice. Don't you care about us? How can you be sleeping? They speak their truth though. That is what they are feeling in the middle of that storm. And there's another story of that in John 11, where Mary and Martha's brother Lazarus has died. And as Jesus arrives on the scene, too late, Mary runs out to him and she takes her grief and pain to Jesus and she speaks her truth. And she says, Lord, if you had been here, he wouldn't have died. And it's in speaking the truth of her grief and pain that she is able to recognize that Jesus grieves as well as he weeps for Lazarus. In the middle of that storm on the sea, the disciples could see that Jesus was there with them as he awoke and spoke calming words not only to the sea around them, but to their hearts. And that is one of those things that as we deal with the storms of our lives, both those ones that everybody knows about and the ones that are more hidden, 
speaking the truth of what we are dealing with in those to Jesus, taking all of that pain and questions and frustrations and anger and grief, that's when we can begin to see God's presence with us in our pain and in our healing. And when we can see that Jesus is in the boat with us through whatever storms come, and Jesus is weeping, holy tears of grief and loss for the injustice and the things that are wrong in the world, holy tears. And so today, as you are in the midst of dealing with any storms that are part of your life, either right now or the cumulative ones from years before, let's pray together. God of grace, heal our spirits by the power of your Son, Jesus Christ. Listen as we speak the truth of our griefs and fears, of all the storms that impact us. Hear us as we name the impact that these storms are having and help us recognize that you are in the midst of them with us in whatever it brings up, in the fear, in the grief, in the loss, in the anger, in the frustration, sometimes in that feeling of being absolutely frozen. Help us know that you are present and that you share in all of those with us. You are strong enough to bear it for us and compassionate enough to share it with us. Bring healing, calm our fears, bring peace as you weep holy tears and ride out the storms with us. And we pray this in the name of Jesus Christ, who has the power to heal. Amen. And so friends, be safe in whatever physical storms come your way in these next hours. And also, be safe in the emotional storms. And if you ever need someone to share those with, um, those of us here at the church are always listening ears. You are not alone. You are loved. And Jesus is there with you. Take care, friends, and we'll see you soon.